Some say we are living in the golden age of gaming. No, not the joystick kind online, but the cardboard kind. We found some people in one South St. Louis bar willing to let go of their most prized possession to play. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Call it a moving story. Is it my turn? Yes. Oh, sorry. It's Friday night, and this Soulard bar is packed. At least too high or only too high? But they're not just here for the food or beer. Wait, why are you taking purple? It's something else on the table. Guys, that uh, draw pile is getting smaller and smaller. Right. Board games are back. Bada bing, bada boom, bam. Let the game begin. You can't get away. I did not realize until we opened how big the gaming community really is here and how supportive it is. The resurgence of board games has long since passed go. And the pieces board game bar and restaurant is proof. This IT specialist, attorney, and MBA grad all rolled the dice that St. Louis would embrace the nationwide board game boom. Two years later, they have a steady flow of players and more than $30,000 in games for people to try. And not just games people might remember from childhood. Every time you think, you know, they've thought of it all, they've done everything, you look online at what's coming out and there's just so much creative energy out there in St. Louis and in the rest of the world. It sort of feels like how craft beer just kind of it came out of nowhere, and then before you realize it, there are craft breweries on every corner. Cheers to that. Where games used to sell out of boutiques. Okay, I'm cashing this in. Or the corner of a store, the demand can now support entire retail shops like St. Louis's Miniature Market. And some of the most popular games are made locally. This is our board game library. We have about 850 plus games. <laughs> TJ Honeycutt designed Fireball Island, a remake of an 80s favorite. Like a lot of new games, online crowdfunding helped him make his move. More than 23,000 people donated nearly $3 million to the project. So what makes board games so popular? It's something that everyone can do. There's an emotional connection that comes with sitting across the table from another person and enjoying their company. Are you having fun sitting here with your mom and your sister? <laughs> For once, yeah. <laughs> At a time when we're supposed to be more connected than ever. Uh, not bad. Yeah. Maybe it's the disconnect that board games demand that brings players closer together. Because like you're in the moment, so you don't want to be on your phone to interrupt that. So you're just kind of in the vibe of the game. Well, you can't. You're going to miss something if you're on your phone. We have so much fun while we're doing it that we could do it for hours on end. We could stay here all night long. Thanks to the folks at Pieces for letting us come out. You know, sticking with his craft beer analogy, they have people who come in from out of town and they want to drink St. Louis beer and then they want to play St. Louis games. So there is a certainly a, a St. Louis design, uh, gaming design culture here in our town. Yeah, and you know what? It's so refreshing to see people hanging out and not yeah. on their phones. Yeah, right. Like I was watching and I'm like, how come this looks so different? <laughs> so what's going on? You spotted it. That is the difference for sure.